Well, what's up, Tube? This is Review back again for another Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. Today, we picked up uh, two of these uh, repackaged uh, packs from Target. And so, we're going to open two of them. We really don't know what packs are in here. Um, we know it comes with five packs and five foil cards in each of these. And that we're at least going to get one of each of the raw yellow mega packs. Um, which have 11 cards in each pack. Uh, you get one of every rarity. And then you also get two commons. Uh, no ultimate rares. Uh, that came after these packs were already out. Um, and so we can see by looking that all the packs underneath are all going to be the same type of pack. I'm not sure what those are. Um, potentially Order of Chaos maybe. I'm not sure, but it looks like we're going to get eight of those packs, whatever they are, and then two uh, raw yellow mega packs, and ten foil cards, apparently. Uh, so these were $8.99 each at Target. Figured pick them up and check them out. So let's see what we got. Okay, so what we get, our, and you can see how thick that one is. We'll set our rares here. And we've got... Oh, cool. These are all Battle Pack 1s. Nice. They're not first editions, but they are BP1. Which is cool, because I'm trying to complete my Battle Pack 1 collection as I speak. So, this is nice. Good find. And so, I'm assuming we'll have the same thing in this pack. Yep, so, those are all Epic Dons, and I have a feeling I know where those, uh, <laughs> where these packs came from, <laughs> but we'll see. So, yep, these are all LCO3s, so let's see if all of them in the set are actually LCO3, and they are. <laughs> so, somewhat of false advertisement, actually. It says we get five foil cards, but in actuality we get six, and these are all the limited edition cards from uh, the Legendary Collection 3, Yugi's World. So we have a Dark Necrofear, a Guardian Yatos, a Five-Headed Dragon, and the Emissary Token, and two Karibo Tokens. So, uh, not too bad. Um, I was hoping to have some rares from some actual packs, and not from the collector's boxes, but we'll take it. And we have the same thing here. So the same same cards. So interesting how they package this. And so these, all of these will be available for sale on my website. Um, along with tons of other ones that I have. Let's put them there. And I'm going to go ahead and open the raw yellow pack ones first uh i do not have any of these i believe uh this is the 2012 set and so you can see right here it says there's one secret rare rare one ultra rare one super rare one rare and seven common cards per pack so that's pretty neat you get the two additional commons uh, in these packs versus the standard five. Uh, that's how you come up with the 11 cards. Uh, this was basically uh, released because of the um, the demand of the Legendary Collection 2. Um, and so they decide to release these as basically a follow-up to that in 2012. So pretty neat. I think it was February of that year. 
But like I said, I haven't got any of these yet, so anxious to see what I get. Um, obviously, nothing in here is first edition. So we'll just go ahead and see what we get. We've got a Rainbow Gravity. Elemental Hero Neos. Pretty cool. A System Down. A Winged Karibo Level 9. Pretty cool rare. A Lumina Light Sworn Summoner. A Hero Flash. A Crystal Beast Cobalt Eagle. Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. The Flute of Summoning Karibo. Rise of the Snake DT. And Grand Convergence. Alright, we'll see what we got in our other pack. Like I said, not really looking for anything in particular today. Just figured I'd pick these up uh, on my way home from work, so um, we'll see. I actually stopped in to see if they had any of the Legendary Collection 3 Yu-Gi-Oh! boxes. They did not. Uh, they had a bunch of Joeys, but they were significantly overpriced, so I did not pick those up. Um, second pack, Judgment Dragon. Card blocker, offering to the snake deity, a uh, venom um, naga, the deity of poisonous snakes. Oh, nice! The six samurai aru. Very cool. I was hoping to get at least one of the six samurais. That's pretty cool. In this set, um, they're offering all six Samurais as Ultra Rare, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Destiny Hero Malicious, very cool. Uh, this card is going for quite a bit right now, I believe. Uh, around $5 or so, so that's, that's cool. I love the way that looks, that's neat. Uh, Destiny Single, Signal. Uh, Arcus Light Sworn Druid. Venomin, the King of Poisonous Snakes. So we got... We got the Deity of Poisonous Snakes and the King of Poisonous Snakes in the same pack. And then Rise of the Snake Deity and Gateway of the Six. So that's pretty cool there. Those two cards are definitely awesome. Nice, nice pull there with both of those. I'm definitely happy. I've already got my money back if I can sell a couple of the cards, so that's cool. And let's go ahead and start opening. We should have eight of these two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, these are five per pack. Chaos Necromancer, Doom Caliber Knight, Pot of Greed, Starfoil, nice, Gachi Gachi Gentetsu, and Miracle's Wake. Pack two. Big Jaws, Cyber Dragon, Naturia Strawberry, a uh, Naturia Strawberry was the Starfoil, a Granosaurus, and a Magic Cylinder.
uh, Blizzard Dragon, Skilled White Magician, a Starfoil Monster Gate, Injection Fairy Lily, and Interdimensional Matter Transporter. Four, Charcoal and Pachi, Ape Fighter, a Starfoil Gravitic Orb, Pot of Dolty, and Windstorm of Etiqua. Okay, we got another Big Jaws, Cyber Dragon, a Starfoil Fabled Ashen Evil, Ashenville, Pot of Dolty, and Grave Squirmer. A Beast King Barbaros. Abyssal King Shark, a Starfoil Goblin Derberg, a Granosaurus, and a Big Bang Shot. A Toon Gemini Elf. Alright, we got a Arcana Force 4. Or 14, sorry. Uh, Temperance. A Starfoil Snowman Eater. Oh, a Jinzo. It is a common Jinzo, but still nice. Very cool. It's always nice to have a Jinzo. And Changing Destiny. That's pretty cool. And our last pack. A Yaksha. King Tire Wang Hu. A... It's hard to tell. <laughs> A Starfoil Spell Shield Type 8, a Common Pot of Greed, and Infected Mail. So, not too bad. Uh, we'll just review our Starfoils real quick out of those 8 packs. We had Spell Shield Type 8, Snowman Eater, Goblin Ber Berg. Fabled Ashenville, Gravidec Orb, Monster Gate, Natoria Strawberry, and Pot of Greed. So overall, not too bad. Um, you know the eight ninety nine. A uh, carton, if you will. Um, not not too bad for repackaged cards. Uh, when you buy these, typically you're not going to get any first editions. Um, unless, you, unless you get pretty lucky. Uh, overall, I'm pretty happy. I pulled uh, BP01, the Battle Pack 1 Epic Dawn packs. So that's definitely cool. Um, in fact, I might go back and get, uh, get some more uh, over the next couple days. Um, if I can filter them down to the Battle Pack Epic Dawns and uh, try to work on completing that collection. Uh, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my website at review.com. That's R-I-V-E-U.com where I sell Yu-Gi-Oh cards.